Now, I'm very pleased, uh, pleased to introduce um, the Vice Chancellor of Macquarie University, Professor Bruce Stoughton, a pediatrician, general, uh, clinical genesis, geneticist, molecular bi biologist, researcher, and academic. Vice Chancellor. Well, thank you very much, folks, and a warm welcome to you all to Macquarie University. I also uh, pay my respects to the traditional custodians of this land, the Watamadical clan of the Darug Nation, uh, the elders, past, present, and emerging. Uh, we have a remarkable endowment at this uh, campus, and uh, I urge all of our guests today to tread lightly on this remarkable land that has been tended since time immemorial by the Darug people. What a wonderful opportunity to celebrate the many accomplishments of the Centre for Health Informatics here today. At a time when, in my view, um, there is so much need for accelerating the advancement of the provision of health care at any level, the level of delivery of care to individual patients, the care of families, the care of communities, and the care of the nation. And that acceleration must surely continue with the increasing arrival uh, and bedding down into reality of uh, AI-based tools, of health informatic uh, research-based approaches towards the delivery of care and the promotion of health. So I congratulate the centre on all the work that you've achieved over the last uh, 21 years. It's been some time since this idea was originally conceived most of you would not know that the origins of the Centre for Health Informatics actually belong in the, man, in the mind of a man named Dr. Max Thorpe. For those of you who don't know Max Thorpe, uh, an eminent Australian gastroenterologist, um, a quiet, understated man who served for many years as a private practitioner and uh, visiting consultant at the Prince of Wales Hospital. Max Thorpe stands out in my mind for three reasons. One, an observation, one, a question, and one, a statement of emerging and evident fact. The observation was that Max Thorpe, when I turned up as the Dean of the Medical School at the University of New South Wales in 1998, Max Thorpe, the observation, held the title of warden of the clinical school, which I thought was very curious, since the only other context in which I knew of people being referred to as wardens were folks who led Her Majesty's correction services in various parts of Australia and the British realm. Max was the warden of the clinical school and did that job in a very fine way. He never caused any trouble at all. I only substantially heard from him twice. And the second thing that lingers in my mind about Max Thorpe was the, the question. He called me one day, and he always referred to me very formally as Dean. He called me and said, Dean, I need your advice. There is a medical student in the hospital with a samurai sword threatening to cause havoc. What should I do? That was pretty easy to answer. Get him out of the hospital, please, now. And then the statement of evident fact was he came to see me one day and said, and I quote, there's a very bright, medically trained hotshot at the Hewlett Packard Laboratories in Bristol in the UK, whom we must have come back to the University of New South Wales. That young man back there was Enrico Coera whom we met and appointed as, I think, the first professor of medical informatics or health informatics in Australia. There, in fact, ladies and gentlemen, was the uh, birth of the Centre of Health Informatics 21 years ago, if I recall the history correctly, Enrico. What a wonderful series of accomplishments. I wish that I would be able to stay for today and hear the presentations. Regrettably, I need to leave almost immediately to go to the airport to fly to Jakarta, but I was determined to be here today to congratulate you, Enrico, for the leadership that you have provided as a part of the Australian Institute for Health Innovation, which we are very proud to have here at uh, Macquarie University these days, led by Geoffrey Braithwaite and other colleagues, but also to um, 
say the impact that you have had and I believe will continue to have on the healthcare landscape of Australia is truly uh, profound. Congratulations and again to you all participating here today in person at Macquarie University campus and those online, the warmest of welcomes to Macquarie University. Thank you so much.